Hey everyone, welcome to this video. If you are the person who has trouble transferring files between the host machine and a virtual box, virtual machine, although you have configured the guest configuration, although you have configured the bi-directional for both shared clipboard and drag and drop, or even clip share folder, and it's not working. Okay, this is the right video. I'm gonna show you how to do that. Now, for example, if it, these are two different virtual machines, so drag and drop really doesn't work between two different virtual machines. Okay, if you try to click that, you cannot do that. Okay, it only works between a host and the virtual machine. So this is a file in my host. If I copy this one, it's working. That's wonderful. If I copy this one to the Linux Kali box, did it work? Not sure, let me try it again. So if it says that plus copy, it usually works, and here we go. So we were able to drag and drop, in this case, successfully from the host to that virtual box just fine. But a lot of times, whatever reason, this just does not work. Then, how can you transfer the file? In this case, what do you want to do? You, you can use for the for the job. So if you're using Python, you can really run Python from anywhere. So let's just see if we can run it from our, our host machine. So all, all you need to do, you can, well, let's run the Python from this virtual box. The process would be very similar. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna open up a command prompt. And what I want to know, what is the IP address? So IP config, and this is my IP address, 192.168.124. And say I want to share everything that we have inside the student directory. So if I do dir, you have everything. Or you can just go to say you want to share the desktop. Okay. So let's go to the desktop and do a dir. Those are the files we have. This is the transfer whatever file. And over here, let's do the IP config one more time. So I know what the IP address is. And then I'm gonna run one command py to check if we have Python. It is available, it's Python 3.10. I'm excited. And I'm gonna run py m http dot serper. There we go. So what it does is actually created a web server. It's it's hosting every single file I have on the desktop. And it should be accessible from any machine that is connected to this network. So if I over here, if I come here, uh, launch a new instance, uh, let's try to go to one eight two dot one sixty eight dot one dot twenty four and then try to ask hey what's running on eight thousand what I expect that this to show up. So you see that all the directory in here in this particular web server is now showed up in here. So I have complete access to this particular directory. So from here I can just click on it. Okay. It will let me download the file, right click on it, save link as, and you should be able to download the file just fine. Okay, here we go. And let's say download that to the desktop, and let's say create it person two, hit enter, and that's it. And somewhere in here, I should be seeing that file, it should show up, right? So this also tells you how dangerous this command may be, okay? If I did this, say if I control, if I do control C and to end this particular server and go back to CD to the main root and run that command here, what I'm really doing, I'm actually exposing all these files to everybody. So now if you see everything under this particular student, it showed up. And that's not really good. Okay. So here we go. So you know how Python can help you to transfer files within VirtualBox and also you have learned how dangerous this comment could be. Thanks for watching. Have fun.